This is the most frustrating defense to play against in Madden 23. No! It is so dominant your opponent won't be able to complete a single pass. It gets relentless pressure. I get sacks and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll once again be using my New Orleans Saints offensive evil, but on defense, I think I've officially switched over to the multi-D defense, and that's because of the defense I'm going to be showing you guys today, as I've been absolutely shutting people down with this formation. I'm once again going to be using my future Super Bowl champion Eagles, as I am an Eagles fan, and if you think I'm going to be using any other team right now, as they're just days away from playing in the Super Bowl, you are out of your mind. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Before I get into the video, though, if you guys want to see more gameplays like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section, as it really helps out the channel and the video. And if you want to see more money plays right now from these or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to your email for instant download. I'm playing against the Saints, who actually beat the Eagles in real life pretty handily this year, just a few weeks ago. Second down and eight, quick throws, picked off! Marshawn Lattimore ready! And this game starts out the exact same way. I start this game on offense, and I'm going to be using my gun anti Y Saints scheme, but I'm also going to be mostly focusing on defense in this video. So if you guys want to see more from this offense, I just recently put out an updated video about it, and I will have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video. So stick around for that. On the first series, though, I make a bad read and try to take a shot against what I thought was a cover two, only to turn it over on the second play of the game. Yep. Yeah. Early on in this game, I start by using several plays from the dollar defense, including cover two man, the spinner blitz, and the DB fire two, all of which are considered meta defenses in this game right now. The setup for the cover two man defense is something that I put out in the past, and it doesn't change no matter what formation I use, as I will just press the DBs and shade underneath. And in my opinion, this is the hardest defense to throw against in Madden 23. Nope. And you can see on the first play as we get a knockout. I make a lot of coaching adjustments for this defense, but the most important one is when it comes to ball in the air defense. If you want to get more knockouts, from this tight man coverage you will have to put this setting to play receiver and if you want to learn more about coaching adjustments i just made an updated video about this topic as well and i once again have links in the description at the end of the video on the next play I switch to the dv fire 2 and try to get some pressure and we get an interception proving that this coaching adjustment won't hurt the amount of takeaways you will get on offense i start off good with a big pass play that gets me inside the 10 but then i take a big sack on second down that pushes me back to third and goal from the 23 then on third down i get back to the two yard line but can't punch it in, so I will go for it on fourth down, only to throw my second interception of the game in the end zone. Back on defense, the lack of size from the dollar defense shows up on the first play. Then on third down, I try to switch over to the DB fire two, but I'm really not a fan of the coverage. This cover two zone, in my opinion, really doesn't cover well. As I make a bad adjustment trying to knock the ball out while the receiver's in the air, instead of giving up a long catch and run for a touchdown. Back on offense, he's in the DB fire blitz too as well, so on the next play, I switch to my famous fade out bomb from my gun stack wide flex offense, as it really works against any zone coverage at this point. The only adjustment that I have to make so that this works against cover two is motion out the running back to the line of scrimmage and put him on an out route to pull the cornerback down. And we flip the field to get in the field goal range on the very next play. I don't get much further than that though, as I take another big sack on second down, and it pushes me back into another third and forever situation that I can't convert. So this time I take the long field goal to cut the lead in half. Back on defense, Taysom Hill and his speed is a problem. He splits my cover two safeties for a big play to get right down the field. And on the next play, I try another meta blitz, the man zero, only to see Taysom Hill moss my safety before punching it on the ground on the very next play. Damn it! To go down a quick 13-3 as this defense clearly isn't working and I will change it up on the next series. Back on offense, the momentum is going crazy and now my opponent is locking me up in coverage as he forces me into a quick fourth and six for my own 40. So with the game almost on the line already i go to my favorite money play the saints fork he comes out in the man zero one more time so i give myself a bunch of man beating options pre-snap only to see my first receiver come wide open in aj brown thank you windows tinted on my ride when i drive it as this is exactly what happened against the saints in real life i mean the exact same player the exact same score everything 
On the next series, I decided to switch over to a new defense, but I still want to have four cornerbacks on the field. So I switch over to a cover two man from the dime normal so that I can have another lineman on the field for both pass rush and run defense purposes as the dollar defenses wasn't cutting it in both. To set this defense up, I'm still going to press and shade underneath, but when it comes to the defensive line, I am now going to pinch the line if I expect a run or spread it if I expect a pass. Typically, when you pinch the defensive line from a three defensive lineman set, you get no pressure at all. But in this formation, we lock everything up on the backside and still almost get a sack due to the extra rusher. Down the next play, I spread the defensive line and guess pass this time and the pressure comes in even faster as this play looks like an instant replay as he barely gets it away again. Now on third and long, we make the exact same adjustments only this time. <laughs> Just look at the huge difference the extra lineman made as the quarterback couldn't even get a pass off for three straight plays after dominating the entire first half. Now with only 56 seconds left, I start to drive out with a zig route to get out of bounds before hitting the corner route. Then with 35 seconds left, we work that corner route one more time to AJ Brown to take the lead before half. He gets the ball to start the second half and decides he doesn't want to try this pass defense no more. But the run defense is just as strong as all I have to do is switch over to the man zero blitz. If you pinch the defensive line from this look, it allows no inside run lanes. And the blitzing cornerbacks will cut off outside runs, making this a very good run defense from this formation as he only gets two yards. So now every time he comes out under center, I switch over to the man zero blitz. And even if he switches out to a pass play like he does here, he is still under center, which means he's a lot closer to the line of scrimmage and much easier to sack. Bring that out. Here, boy. So he figures out pretty fast that he needs to be in a shotgun look, but the coverage is still airtight across the board nope. as he once again throws an incomplete pass before he decides to go from it from his own 20. When it comes to playing defense, you usually want a user or a player that has as little responsibility as possible. And on this play, so far, I've been using the defender that's been covering the running back as he hasn't gone out on too many patterns, which has allowed me to double any routes over the middle. But on the next play, I can't do that since he attacks that idea with a Texas route. So I decided that the player with the least responsibility is actually the safety especially against a formation like this as he is not man to anyone and there is no receiver on this side that can draw me deep so on the next play everything is locked up once again as the pressure gets in for another hit and another incomplete pass other than that i can use in the middle of the field much like a linebacker with this safety i just have to watch for any receivers that cross the field into my area and on the next play he tries to beat my user deep but i'm all over that that was a close one and i almost get a huge user lurk on the next play, he tries to hit the tight end over the middle, and that is why you set your coaching adjustments to play receiver. He goes for it on fourth down, and I gotta call BS. As I use the running back again much better this time, I only get called for contact down the field as I was just trying to make a play on the ball. Wilson. Another option for a player to use it with no responsibility is the defensive end, but I find that this hurts the pass rush, as on the next play, nothing is open once again, and he has to throw it away, as he is now 5 for 16 after starting the game 3 for 6 before I switch to this defense. Then on third and 11, I go back to using the running back, thinking that if he runs a, a pattern in the flat that I might not have to cover him and sure enough he goes right back to him for his third first down of the drive <laughs> so I go back to using the safety and everything is locked up once again as I almost get another interception on the next play I don't pinch the D-line and he gets his biggest run of the game so now inside the red zone I pinch the D-line this time as the secondary locks everything up and we get another sack now in third and 22, we are once again going to be using the running back one more time as I'm almost certain Kamara can't pick up 22 yards. And this time I decided to trick my opponent by switching up the coverage with a blitz that I made on the spot. I make it look like I'm aligning the safety and the cornerbacks for coverage, but instead I man the safety to the tight end and blitz the cornerback. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And we get another sack, pushing him back to a fourth and 34. He does nail the field goal, but that entire drive was literally him hitting the running back on third and long and me failing the user as nothing else was open and no one else caught a single pass. So now two points, I'm not playing the clock and he is only running man zero blitz at this point. So I go to my drive H wheel, won't play touchdown as all you have to do is streak the X route. But we get a little pressure and just barely miss on the first play. Oh, he almost had it. Then on the next play, I hit the running back as this is an obvious weak spot before going right back to the one play touchdown. And this time, we have a much cleaner throw. Break yourself, fool! As AJ Brown is having a monster game. I decided to go for two again because for some reason I thought I was up 12 instead of eight. Like I said, my math was just not working today. And now he's only down one possession instead of what would have been a two possession lead if I had just kicked the extra point. No big deal though, as he would have to be able to complete a pass for that to matter as he is now six for 20 and has now decided to just run the ball instead. <laughs> and now in fourth and five, I failed to use her again. Only this time I do it as a safety. On the next play though, he comes out in an empty backfield look. So I go right back to using the defensive end over the middle. He tries to beat my cover two over the middle the same way he did earlier in the game. 
Gotcha, bitch. But this time we get another takeaway. So I have the ball, but I'm not in a good spot. So I try to QB sneak and get nothing. Then on the next play, the coverage is tight, but AJ Brown is straight carrying this offense. <laughs> as I outmuscle his best cornerback for a big play that almost ends the game. But that first down is looking tough as I almost throw a pick on the next play before nothing is open on the next play, and I decide to just stay in bounds to keep the clock running. On third down, I just hold the ball and take a sack before punting it away with 27 seconds left, needing another defensive stand. On the first play, we should have had an interception. And on the second play, I don't know what happened. <laughs> But I know that he has only completed 7 out of 25 passes as this defense has been a nightmare. So much so that he actually thought he had a better chance of scoring on a run play. A run play! What, are you f***ing retarded or something? That ain't f***ing right. Then with one second left, he tries the same PA Seams play that hasn't worked all game. How about new? No? Only to get sacked, and that's the ball game. Quick stats comparison from early in the game when he was up 13-3. Andy Dalton at the time was 3-6 for six for 144 yards and one touchdown and one interception before I switched over to this defense, only giving up a field goal the rest of the way. And he didn't complete a single pass to anyone that I wasn't personally responsible for in coverage. Try this defense out and let me know how it works for you guys. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more from the offense that I was using throughout the game, I will have that and the coaching adjustments tip video I mentioned earlier popping up on screen. So check them out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.